Hi, my name is Ashok. Today we are going to see how the S4 HANA public cloud is being configured from the scratch. So to do so, we have to log in to the CBC uh, admin login where you will have a screen which is being populated like this. So in this screen, you have three status like the open, the in process and completed. So most of our most of our activities will fall under the open phase. So initially the activities are not at configured. So it falls under the open. So based on the business requirement and the need, you, you have to select the list of activity which is required for your business. And you have to open the particular activity. By opening the particular activity, you will be able to see the configuration steps and the uh, um, the areas are uh, listed in that particular activities based on which we can set up our required actions. So now I have selected the uh, particular um, configuration over here based on which I was able to navigate to the activity configuration. So once the configuration activity is being triggered, it moves to the next state that is the in progress. Once when it is in, in progress, you can make it to uh, completed once you have set up all the initial setting of the activities. So if all this uh, activities is completed and you have done with your uh, necessary uh, configuration, then all the activities falls under the complete phase. So once this uh, set of uh, setting is being completed in this particular CBC admin login, you have to navigate to the tenant URL. That is a different URL which uh, SAP provides. So one, you, uh, this is the tenant URL which I am showing you now. I have uh, configured this uh, particular uh, screen uh, to my uh, necessary way. So you can also do the same by uh, going into the admin uh, settings over here in the um, settings you can adapt or you can uh, change it based on your uh, required thing uh, so then uh, according so once now uh, all the activities whichever you have done in the cbc uh, admin login gets reflected in the tenant url so based on that activity list this uh, particular uh, apps and activity gets populated in in this uh, case now you have another settings called spro which has the real time uh, settings as you see in your s4 hana system but again in spro screen you will have a limited settings where you can configure uh, the initial transaction and the setup of all the basic necessary things what we do in our daily activities so here uh, what SAP has done, uh, we uh, they have shrinked the SPRO settings uh, to which uh, there are limited access, or not the access, limited uh, settings which is available uh, in, in the SPRO. So to go into the SPRO, you just have to search IMG, that is the implementation activity. Then once when you click on that implementation activity, it opens like this, where you have the SPRO settings. And you can navigate from here to the implementation activity, change hierarchy, and go to SPRO IMG, SAP IMG. When you, you navigate here, you will have the same set of uh, uh, routes which are being involved in the uh, SPRO settings. But they have shrinked it with uh, certain limitations uh, compared to S4 HANA uh, on premises. Uh, but if you could compare it, like uh, in the CBC login, you have the list of activity which are pre-configured. So those gets uh, populated in the initial phase itself and they are uh, predefined in the tenant. So you don't have to reconfigure those things again, but certain aspects has to be done through SPRO. So this is the basic uh, setup which has to be uh, done before setting up the system. So once this is done, now you can go with your uh, regular uh, uh, path on how to uh, migrate your data then after which you can go and set up all uh, other uh, uh, master data with uh, the necessary uh, sales area or whatever uh, uh, transaction you are going to populate in the system based on which you will you can um, activate other required tiles uh, for a particular user 
or uh, for a particular business user you want to maintain all those things can be done from this particular screen so this is the basic uh, uh, information on how to start with the configuration so hope this uh, video helps you in the initial setup and uh, it will be uh, much helpful for people who are not aware in this uh, s4ana public cloud where, where you can uh, actually have a glimpse of what uh, what and how in a configuration takes place okay thanks for watching this video do like subscribe and